if I were Tom Thompson sitting across from you and you could only ask me one thing, what would it be? <laughs> um, <laughs> Not to put yeah. you on the spot. Uh, well, that's a great question, and I would uh, love to know what other people would, would say. Um, I would probably not ask him what happened, which is kind of the, maybe the obvious question. Right. Um, because in a way, it's uh, he probably wouldn't even know. He, he's just paddling along, and all of a sudden, <laughs> <laughs> everything goes dark, right? Maybe he didn't even know what happened. Um, uh, and maybe it's super kind of geeky, but just as a painter, another artist to another artist, I would be kind of interested to know just you know, how he did what he did, you know, like how he mixed his colors, like what his palette was like, you know, um, how he chose different scenes to paint, you know, what decisions he was making as he was working. You know, so just kind of just, I would probably say like, can I just watch you paint for, for a few hours, you know, and just, because I've found that just being a, like a, when I was a student and, you know, sometimes you, you have an opportunity to go to like a mentor studio and you watch their, you see how they got things set up. That is far more uh, a greater learning experience than anything you can just learn in class. Did he paint in the rain? Did he paint while sitting in his canoe or would he always set up and, you know, and I mean, how did he make all that beautiful work? <laughs> so you would want to watch him paint. Yeah. Can I watch you paint? Tom? Yeah, yeah.